Zionist leaders are extending their occupation of Palestine, intending to formally annex more than 30% of the West Bank. Included in this is the Jordan Valley, a large stretch of land bordering Western Jordan. Israel already invades more than 80% of the Jordan Valley for the sake of small communities of illegal settlers. Since 1967, almost all of the West Bank, home to over 3 million Palestinians, has been occupied and controlled by Israeli security forces. The West Bank, which is Palestinian land in international charters and sits within the borders of the pre-1967 war, is blighted by more than 120 Israeli settlements, housing more than 300,000 illegal settlers. A further 100 settlements are illegal under Israeli law itself, but are nonetheless supplied with services and utilities. Hundreds of kilometers of the apartheid war rip through the West Bank, as well as endless military checkpoints. This area, along with the besieged Gaza Strip, the latter also eaten up by an enormous surrounding buffer zone, were supposed to constitute a future Palestinian state as part of the popular solution to the conflict called the Two-State Solution. Israel's planned unilateral action, illegal under international law, has been decried by the international community, constituting the most serious violation of international law yet. For many, it is the end of Palestinian statehood and proves that the policy of negotiation has not worked. For others, however, it is a reminder that just as Zionist annexation knows no limits, Palestinian aspirations should likewise know no limits. That Palestine, including Jerusalem, Bethlehem and its historic cities from where millions of Palestinians hail, including Jaffa, Haifa, Lidda and others, is indivisible. That the occupation of Palestine is destined to end and that its inhabitants will ultimately return to their ancestral lands.